Proverbs 18.20 A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall, be, shall he be filled. Great satisfaction comes from having good speech. A man who speaks in a way to be a blessing to others will be blessed himself. Proverbs 15.23 says, A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth. And a word spoken in due season, how good is it? And the more that increases, the greater our satisfaction. Proverbs 12, 20, or 14 says, A man shall be satisfied with the good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him. The man that seems to always stretch uh, faults and raise objections is a cynic and captious. They are at war within and don't even know it. If they would only recognize why people are turned off by them and give their heart to the Lord. And I don't mean by giving their heart to the Lord to get saved, but I mean letting God control their heart. When he speaks of the belly, it means our heart, our soul, our spirit, our conscience. Proverbs 20, 27, I think, clarifies that. He says, The spirit of man is the candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. Proverbs was written to give us wisdom. And a wise man learns the rules of wisdom for the tongue, primarily to think before you speak. Proverbs fifteen twenty eight: The heart of the righteous studieth to answer. But the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. 16.23 says, The heart of the wise teacheth his mouth, and addeth learning to his lips. Another rule is, don't talk too much. In the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin. But he that refraineth his lips is wise. Proverbs 10.19 and in 17, 27 to 28 of Proverbs, it says, He that hath knowledge spareth his words. And a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit, even a fool, when he holdeth his peace, is counted wise. And he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding. I believe another rule is to seek to find words that will encourage and instruct. Again, in Proverbs chapter 10, it says, The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. Chapter 16, 24 says, Pleasant words are as an honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. And I believe we ought to know that the greatest use of the tongue is to bring glory to God. The psalmist says, chapter 30, verse 12, To the end that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever.